flight planning in Avair is actually pretty simple. It's one of the uh, things that is very rewarding about this program, but a lot of people uh, get stuck because they just don't persevere. So they've made the interface much easier. Let me show you how it works. First thing you have to do, though, is go into the menu, into the preferences, into the um, flight tracking, and use rubber banding. That'll enable you to do rubber banding on your, uh, on your flight planning. Okay, so here we go into the flight plan. Our flight plan is going to be to French Valley. I'm going to I'm going to save it as FV, very simple, and we'll create it. Now we have to enter some waypoints. I scroll down here to add a waypoint to the plan. I'm going to start at my home airport of Montgomery Field. It validates it. I'll add it to the plan. Next waypoint will be uh, my destination, which will be F70, which is French Valley. Search. There it is. I'll add it to the plan. I don't have to add any other waypoints because on the map, Oh, actually, let me go back to the plan and let me uh, make it active. Okay, so there it is. It's active. Go back to the plan and let's take a closer up look. I don't need to add waypoints because I can just put my hand on the map and add that to the plan. Boom. Now I want to overfly Palomar Airport. Hold my finger there. Add that to the plan. And on the way, I will overfly Fallbrook Airport, add that to the plan. I will come in on right traffic, I'll add that to the plan. Actually, let's move that there and move that there. And now I'm entering on the 45 for that airport. And we'll go take a look at the whole thing. And there are all my legs that I've just created without entering more than just two waypoints. Uh, manually. All those have just been by putting my finger on the screen. Go back to the plan. Make sure that I save that plan as FV for French Valley and it is saved. So I want to take a look at the list of various plans that I've already made. Here's page one of uh, about four pages. Move over to the next to the last page, and there's the one that I just I just created. Let's load that. It's currently inactive. I tap it. Now it's active. I'll go back to the map, and boom! I've got myself one fine-looking flight plan to French Valley that I created in really just a few seconds. Once I'm up and flying, all these fields will um, will fill in, and uh, I've got myself a flight plan that works as seamlessly and as smoothly as a flight plan on any other navigation application. Pretty simple and straightforward. You just have to uh, get in there in this portrait mode optimally so you can see all the fields at the same time and uh, or rather in this landscape mode and uh, just keep working with it. It's not that hard. If at this point you want to get a briefing, I can get the latest plan briefing from the internet and that will open through my Chrome browser always. And take a look at this as all the information that comes down from uh, the entire route is now displayed on my tablet. Didn't have to go to Duots, didn't have to go to AOPA, didn't have to go to any other source. All the, all the uh, weather and all the NOTAMs, um, winds aloft, and prog charts are all there to be displayed uh, courtesy of uh, of air. And if I wanted to file the flight plan, uh, I could do so as well. But I so far haven't mastered the art of filing a flight plan from Avair. So pretty straightforward. It does work. I encourage you to uh, dig around in there, make some flight plans, and uh, embrace Avair even more fully because the flight planning does work.